Today's Ask Reddit post, what was your is this bitch serious moment? Oh boy, this is gonna be a good one, let's get started. The time this mother yelled at me for saying excuse me, her and her family were taking up an entire bike path, including the shoulder, instead of cutting through them, I moved onto the shoulder and cheerily excused myself as I passed her, didn't touch her and she didn't really have to move since I managed to squeak by. Yet as I passed, she started screaming a bunch of poop. Well, she did not expect me to come to a screeching halt and ask if there was an issue. She promptly hid behind her husband and wouldn't even look at me. All that energy for what? Clown face. Fake ass confidence smh. If you're gonna talk poop, be ready to back to it up. Back it up behind your husband. You mean. A couple sat down at the movie theater 15 minutes into the movie. The lady sits right beside me and is holding a full conversation at full volume with the man barely acknowledging her. I politely ask her to lower her voice as it is distracting. She stares forward for 2 minutes before leaning over. Maybe if you weren't listening to my conversation, you wouldn't be distracted. I was too livid to even respond and the movie was ruined. Edit. The movie was Wonder Woman. I have definitely gotten employees for jerks at the movies, but I felt like I might punch this lady if I looked her direction. Either way, she did lower her voice after that. A woman claimed to have left her money at home while I was working one day after she ordered two sandwiches. They take about 10 minutes to cook. I said that's okay. When you come back they will be ready. She said she wanted the sandwiches first and that she'd be right back after she and her daughter ate because they lived right around the corner. I said if you live right around the corner you'll be back before the sandwiches are done. But I can't give you food before you pay. She lost her poop on me. It was while she left with no food and didn't come back. Editor changed preferred to ordered. Had a customer try that line on us once. My boss at the time didn't skip a beat and said, nice try, but this ain't Popeye. The guy pulled out a huge pimp roll of cash and paid. We're in automotive, not food BTW. There was a girl in my class who was such an idiot, and she would outwardly disrespect the professor all the time. This one time while the professor was talking she started to whistle. He like stopped class in disbelief and asked her why she was doing it and why she was being disruptive and she said it's a thing she does without even thinking. And then whistled again and was like see? I honestly don't get the mentality of people who misbehave in a university classroom. You're paying for the privilege to be there and get a degree. I hope the professor threw her out of the class. A customer came to pay for some lessons and I swiped her card upside down so I had to swipe it again. She caused a scene stating I charged her twice. I just sat there with a monotone I only charge you once every time she took a second to breath. On multiple occasions I've had mothers try to leave their kids with me because I'm in childcare. I literally have to stop telling moms I'm a nanny because I end up getting a strange baby plopped in my lap. The worst was at a park. I was chilling and reading. A mother sits next to me on the bench with her baby. We start chatting a little. Oh your baby is such a cutie. Stuff like that. This bitch stands up. Places her baby in my lap. Diaper bag next me and says she'll be right back. Didn't ask. Just put her baby in my lap and walks away. This one girl in my class loved to apply perfume whenever she could despite the fact that the girl sitting next to her was very sensitive to fragrance. One day she sprayed a whole bunch on and the girl started having a coughing fit and then a migraine and was sent to the nurse's office to calm down. When the teacher asked the girl why she did that all she said was what's the big deal. It's not my fault. I don't like people sometimes. 20 years ago. Girl tried to fight me in a bar. All I did was look at her funny. Unintentionally. I was going to the bar for a round of drinks and forgot the order. Happened to be looking at her when I was lost in thought. Anyway. She challenged me outside. I couldn't believe it. I'm 6 feet 1 220 and she was small. Anyway the bouncer heard her and kicked her out. She was still in the sidewalk an hour later when we left. Followed me to my car pushing me and punching my back. It was surreal. Someone asked if I could break a $100 bill in pennies. 
I just looked at her. Looked around to make sure I was definitely not currently working in a bank. It was a bakery. And said sorry. That person would be lucky to get that at a financial institution too. Some places charge for change. Some restrict on what you can get. Pennies come in boxes of $25. I've turned people away because we didn't have enough boxes to last us. Or they just don't have it. I just had one yesterday. I've been going to my local high school's running track to jog and exercise since lockdown. Well to park your car you have to go through a driveway that's designated with arrows as one way. There's an exit on the other side of the parking lot. Anyway the soccer moms in town are notorious for parking their cars in this driveway and making it hard to get into the actual parking lot. As I pull into the driveway one of these women thinks that it's a brilliant idea to put her car into reverse as I'm entering. I couldn't swerve out of the way because there was an SUV parked right at the mouth of the entrance taking up half the available space. So I reacted and honked my horn. She proceeded to panic. Throw the car into drive and run it into a small boulder that lines this driveway. It ripped the passenger side air deflector clean off. According to her I'm now a ducking asshole that honks her horn for no reason. When I walked into the apartment I shared with a friend. And it was covered in vomit because her dog ate a pillow and had puked it up. Two days earlier, the living room was covered in dog puke and she had just sat there in the middle of it. She thought it was funny. I called a moving company on the spot and arranged for the first appointment they had. And put my stuff in storage while I found a new place. That was my last roommate. Roommates are mostly poop. There are the rare gems. My sister's mother-in-law opened up all her wedding gifts and packed them away while she was on honeymoon. It's been 3 years since but I'm still mad thinking about it. What was her excuse? Did she think that the gifts might rot or expire? Lmeo. She said they would be exhausted after their trip and so she wanted to help them settle in their new apartment by unpacking. To this day, my sister has stuff that she has no idea who it's from and could never personally thank anyone. Me and my friend, both around 14 at the time, snuck some of my dad's whiskey while my parents were out. We each had a few sips from the bottle, did the obligatory ah it burns, and that was about it. At first, a few minutes later, my friend starts acting really drunk. He's crashing into walls, falling down. Slurring his speech. I'm thinking there's no way this kid is drunk we had like. 25 milliliters of that whiskey. I don't even feel anything except the lingering little burn in my throat. He's gotta be faking it. He starts dry heaving. Smashed a lamp. Then went toward the TV like he was going to grab it. I had to literally bear hug him while he fought like he was resisting arrest. He was foaming at the mouth and screaming. And wouldn't you know it. Just like that he sobered up and relaxed. So in the span of 5 minutes he got drunk off a sip of whiskey, wrecked my house, fought me like a wild animal, then sobered up. Happened a few days ago. Customer hasn't paid their bill in 5 months, and was in bad standing even before coronavirus. We actually agreed to wait her late payment feels of 3 months. Bitch then has the audacity to demand that we remove 75% of her bill then demanded to speak to the CEO when we obviously refused. I love it when customers think they can just keep going up the chain of command to the CEO. Like yes lady, let me get Elon Musk for you because you filled up your Tesla with gas. I worked at arcade bowling alley combo that served food like a full restaurant. My position had me deliver the food and take the dirty dishes to the back. So, there's a group of like 6 people bowling and they ordered our sampler platter that had a little of everything from the appetizers menu. I bring this platter out and set it down asking if there was anything else they needed. Without really looking this woman says we're good. I begin to turn around and this woman grabs my arm and yanks me towards her like I was her kid and says where the duck are my chicken wings. In disbelief of what was happening I paused looking at her then the platter eventually saying they're right there mom in this little basket on the platter. She lets go and with a skeptical expression says hum. 
Okay as if she really didn't believe the wings were there. If I didn't hate working there and my shift was any farther from being over in 10 minutes I would have spoken to a manager. But I didn't care enough to stay to get it sorted and just wanted to leave. Man I swear. Working in the food industry is a whole poop. Generally. Most people are normal but you get to see the crazies. I used to work at Subway in my teens and a man reached over the glass to get in my face and yell at me for putting mayo on the wrong side of the bread. Co-worker gave me the whole we're all in this corona thing together and have to sacrifice together speech. Then called a departmental meeting, excluding me, to bully our supervisor into making sure that 100% of lost hours and lost income from scheduling changes and cuts fall on my shoulders while all of her and her friends paychecks remained completely intact because he is just a part timer. We're the real team here and not him. Technically he's not entitled to any hours at all so it's okay to cut them all. My income for the month dropped over 50% while the real team that I've been a part of for 5 years didn't lose a dime. You can file for unemployment for that. A customer once sent back her steak tartar because it was, and I quote, severely undercooked. But madam, it's steak and a raw egg yolk. I politely indicated that the nature of steak tartar, but the real dialogue in my head was like, bitch you even know what steak tartar is? Double quote. Lady standing outside the grocery store this weekend harassing those who went into the grocery store by saying stuff like, if you trust God, you'll remove your masks. When a customer accused me of making her come back for her prescription refills every month when we were restricted to fill one month of medications at a time. No exceptions. The government made everyone aware of the restrictions and people still got upset. But that took the cake. I imagine dealing with customers at a pharmacy can be pretty stressful. I worked at a Walgreens for like 6 months as a cashier. Not in the pharmacy at all. And I remember a lady coming up at me super frustrated because she couldn't get her prescription filled. She was acting pretty strange too. Like hitting herself on the arm. Kind of a scary situation to be in when you're a teenager. That may be why she needed the meds. You wouldn't believe the BS people with ADHD go through just to be able to get the meds we need to think straight. Had a new boy in the office who had no idea of what personal hygiene consists of. Not a great start. He was loud and obnoxious. Not even good at his job. Then one day, at the smoking shelter, he starts talking about catching rabbits and traps. He's pointing to the fields around the building and saying he's going to ask for permission to put traps out there. We laughed. For all the poop he talked, not one of us took him seriously. When we go back inside he heads straight to the cubicle of our office manager. This cubicle is adorned with pictures of rabbits. Some are her pets. Some are just rabbits she thinks are cute. She has statues, rabbit pens and pencils. Nobody in their right mind would have asked this woman in this cubicle about going trapping rabbits. He did. I was surprised he made it to the end of the day. I was not surprised when he didn't return the day after. I had a customer ask me how many ones I could give him if he gave me a $20. I told him $19. Because I was charging a finder's fee. He told me that was a great deal and slapped down a $20. We were at a bank. I was his bank teller. Holy poop don't give your bank ideas. They already slap a service fee on everything else. Service fee for breathing. Your life savings for every 2 minutes. I work in a somewhat popular restaurant. Fast causal style. Think Chipotle. Panda Express. Panera. And it was my first shift as a line cook by myself. I had already worked in the kitchen and can do every position there. But it was my first time doing it by myself. Well it was a busy night for us. And we were short staffed. By the time we had slowed down. I had been exhausted and hot as hell. I had been standing over 8 burners for about an hour and was taking my lunch. I sat in the office and the AC was blasting and it was well needed. My co-worker who was cashiering that day. And she took her lunch 15 minutes after mine started. She saw me in the office and demanded I get out of her spot. Told me being a cashier is harder than a line cook because she has to deal with the public. 
When I told her I wasn't moving she told me to duck off and was a bitch the rest of the night. It took about everything in me not to slap her. But instead I told my co-workers who told the mod. And soon after she was fired for stealing. Oh boy sometimes karma feels so good. Told a friend that I didn't really feel comfortable around them anymore because of their recent aggressive behavior. Naturally they threatened to throw me and my girlfriend in jail. Thrown in jail for what exactly? Exactly. Ex-girlfriend got her friend to send stay away from armrest fulcrum messages to my colleague and then denied all knowledge. Noped out of that one. I didn't read your username so I thought she was pulling some sort of my spot dip for the armrest. I was so confused at first. I unfortunately get this a lot. Um. You can't be Middle Eastern. You don't look Middle Eastern. I usually say. And what does every Middle Eastern person look like? Makes them uncomfortable. For reference I am pretty pale. W freckles. Blue eyes. And otherwise my face def looks like a Middle Eastern woman. You all heard of the Crusades? My mom and GMA are both full Middle Eastern and look similar. This just happened to me a few days ago. I was walking my dog, who is not child friendly and we were coming up on a woman and her small child. I could tell the kid was gonna make a beeline for my dog so I crossed to the other side of the street so there wouldn't be any issues. This lady yells what? My kid can't pet your dog? As if her kid was just entitled to touch any dog she wanted to. I said he's not good with kids. Sorry and she yelled back whatever bitch. I was stunned. Honestly. Thought about that interaction the rest of the walk. But had I just let her kid come up to my dog that kid probably would have gotten bitten. I had a volunteer come up to me at the public library I worked at and demand that I tie her shoelace. She was just trying to figure out if you were dumb or sub. Someone from my physics class just said that seconds are smaller than meters. We are in high school. I do not know what to do with this information. One second as a measure of latitude or equatorial longitude is equal to about 90 feet. So, in effect, one second is actually much bigger than a meter. In high school, a person I knew, thought, to be reasonably intelligent who had recently been accepted to UCLA and later went on to be an attorney, asked if rape was a new thing or had it been around a while, totally new. Todd in accounting came up with it. I met some old family friends at my job. I told them that my father had died. One says, well, at least you can have your own life now. I took care of him and no one forced me to. He was my best friend. What a wanker. I'm sorry for your loss. I didn't leave him in the car that long. Plus the windows were cracked. My mother-in-law. The last time she was ever allowed to watch my oldest child. He was 2 and it was 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I was heavily pregnant and had to sit on my hands the next time I saw her because I wanted to cave in the Italian leather handbag she calls a face. I have a 3 year old. This kind of stuff angers me to no end. I want to slap her for you. Met this girl in high school. Bitch really said during science stars a little pointy things. Our son is the only actual son. Needless to say, the whole class went off on her sorry ass. Yeah we were learning about space that day. What, were you learning about space that day or something? Edit never mind. When my dad screamed at me for roughly an hour and a half about how he doesn't care about me, how I mean nothing to him and how I'm not his daughter, the next day he asked to borrow money for cigarettes and energy drinks. I'm sorry but this man doesn't deserve to be called a dad. Unfortunately, he treats my younger sister the same, and favors our younger brother. I was 5 minutes early to service her home for pests. She yelled at me for 2 minutes about how inconsiderate I was and then told me to wait in my truck. Her husband then pulled up and asked what I was doing and invited me in. She then continued to yell at me about how I shouldn't have come in because she said to wait until the appointed time. Her husband apologized and told me to just leave and gave me $20 cash. I called my boss and explained the whole situation and we blocked all her account information. 
Poor husband. You've gotta wonder what redeeming features she has that were enough for him to marry her despite that BS. I worked at Target in the guest service desk. A couple of years ago, around Christmas time, a woman comes in and complains about the string of lights not working properly. I told her I could return it or exchange it. She says she'll grab a different one and come back. Perfect. Comes back 30 or minutes later and starts telling me how there were only two packages left. She complains about how the packaging isn't perfect. Then she looks me dead in the eyes and says what I'd really like you to do is give me this one for free. I chuckled and said we're target. Not in the business of giving items away for free. The most I can do is 10% off for an imperfect package. Needles to say she returned both items. Lomfeo. I worked the self checkouts at Target and this bitch waved me over because an item rang up a different price and I was like oh sorry let me take care of that and change it to the price she said it was supposed to be. Then she looked me in the eye and said at my local Target if it rings up the wrong price they give it to you for free I told her I could change it back to the original price if she's prefer and when she declined I left. I was at the post office dropping off something for my job at the time. The neighborhood was, and is to this day, pretty diverse. My mom was spilling the tea on something over the phone. It was the middle of the day. There was only one window open and one older woman at it being helped. I immediately read the room and lowered my voice when I walked in. I was mostly just saying you hug. And then what? Anyway. In Spanish. As my mom mostly speaks Spanish. After the woman was done. As she's leaving. Turns around and hisses. This is America. Learn to speak English. I think I blacked out but remembered telling her. Why don't you mind your ducking business lady? In my native English language a la New York City accent. I could have said it to her in three other languages I also speak fluently too. I was a bouncer at a club. At the end of the night when everyone leaves we lock the door so the staff can count the money. As I was standing outside guarding the door a woman came up the my and asked to go inside so she can look for her keys that she lost. I told her that she would have to wait until the staff is finished then I would let her in the look for her keys. She threatened to call the cops on me. She said she was gonna call the cops and tell them I was putting her life in danger. Now guess my race. And guess hers. I was biking on a bike path, man and his family taking up both lanes. I wait. Finally proceed to go around in the grass. Man says you can't do that. My company offers sizable monthly production bonuses. They are to be paid on the second pay period of the following month. I earned the top bonus in March but did not get paid in April. I've been fighting with management for my money. They claim I earned a lower tier bonus. Despite evidence to the contrary, they said they changed the bonus structure despite not telling anyone. Skip to last Friday. It's now been over a month of not getting paid. Bonus. I'm still receiving my regular paychecks. A supervisor asked if I had any issues in my department. They mean issues directly tied to production. I said that I was pretty upset about not getting the money I earned. He told me not to let personal matters affect my work. Today, just before leaving, a different supervisor asked why I didn't complete one of my tasks. I said that I was getting extremely frustrated with the money situation. He told me not to let it affect my performance. Let me repeat. He told me not to let the fact that I am not getting paid affect my work. Are these bitches serious? A friend and I recently discovered one of the new PhD students our biomedical science program accepted is anti-vaccination. How? Why would you go into biomedical science if you don't believe it? What is even going on? My stepmom tried to say she had knee cancer because her knee was hurting. Pretty sure it was actually because she was 65. Morbidly obese and spent every day in bed playing Farmville so basically never use them. When they don't leash their dog, like some bitch in Central Park, I'm calling the cops right now. Yes I'm in fear for my life. An African American man is watching birds near me. All available units to Central Park. When my ex who cheated on me got jealous that I had a female friend. 
when my friend got into an argument with a random girl and yelled him or eat your toes if you don't back off. That's something my friends would yell, but not be serious about. My mother was in a nurse. One day, an elderly Chinese couple came to the air because the wife was experiencing severe stomach pains. To make things worse, neither of them were fluent in English. All the husband could do was point at his wife's belly and say over and over again, hurt here, hurt here. Or say, Mandarin. No English whenever anyone tried to communicate with him. No one working that shift spoke any Mandarin. And they couldn't get in contact with any of the off-duty nurses that were fluent. So my mother went into the waiting area and asked for anyone fluent to speak up. A man stood up and said, you need help? My mother explained the situation to him and he replied, yeah, I can help. She took him over to the couple and explained that they needed to find out what her exact symptoms were. Starting with possible pain in her urethra, he nodded, turned to the old woman, and said, in English, does, it, hurt, when, you pee? Mom later said she wished that she had the time to tell him what an asshole he was. Worked at a Dunkin Donuts in the summers in high school and college. Was nearing the end of busy Sunday morning shift. When a lady asks me if any of the products harmed panda bears or their habitat. I said I don't know, but probably not. She proceeded to get angry asking why I didn't know. Asked for the manager. When he said no the donuts are made outside of Hartford and trucked in and the coffee beans are from South America. She got her coffee and left, was so dumbfounded. I was standing in line for a Lana Del Rey pop-up store. A boomer woman had paid to get to the front of a line that, as far as pop-ups go, wasn't even that long. I waited 12 hours at the Kanye line. Well, the security guard got wind of it and refused her entry. I felt bad for the guy as she called him every name in the book. But not so bad, as the entire line was vocally against her and cheering him on. She alleged that making her wait in the sun would give her heat stroke. The organizers are putting people in danger, etc. It was like 71 degrees with trees on the sidewalk. So she leaves and we think that's that. Nope. The woman called the police because apparently that's a thing that police show up for in Hollywood. I can only imagine the conversation. Which was just out of earshot. I actually felt super bad for her teenage daughter, who was clearly embarrassed that they got caught paying for a place in line and just wanted to leave. What's a Lana Del Rey or Kanye pop-up store? Does a celebrity hang out for a day at some random street corner selling their average quality merch or something? I had a girlfriend get furious at me because she discovered my sister was still Facebook friends with a girl I had broken up with years ago. I tried to explain that my sister is a grown woman, we were all in our 30s, and I did not monitor her social media habits, but this didn't help at all. For some reason, this relationship didn't last very long after this. I had a 400 level literature class with the, unilaterally acknowledged, scariest professor in the university. A girl started clipping her nails mid-lecture with little sprockets of nails flying off in every direction landing on people. It was like 10 solid minutes worth of clipping. Can't remember if she ever made it to her toes. We the other students started to make eye contact in an are you seeing what I'm seeing way and when the whole class agreed that it was ducked up we burst into shock laughter. Prof stopped the lecture, ignored our explanation, gave us a scolding to make the blood run cold, and kicked the whole class out. I hated when professors scolded the lecture hall for the littlest of reasons. I paid good money to be there and learn. Not get lectured like a child because summer chat in the back row was on their phone. Professors that halted lecture time to scold were the worst kind of professor because they wasted my time and money. Ro, you actually watched the whole video. I'd give you a high five if I was a human. Make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content. See you next time.